Hello guys, welcome to a new video programming series. In this series, we will see the Code Igniter PHP framework. First, we need to know the basic term associated with framework. What is framework? This is this video will be an introductory video. It is essential that you know the basics or the fundamentals of a framework before proceeding with the programming based on the code igniter framework before or uh, before using the framework so let's begin what is framework framework is nothing but a backbone which is already designed behind uh, skeleton or prototype prototype means suppose you are constructing a building then the prototype for the building will be the plan which you make and the structures which you design these are the prototypes so what code what the framework does is frameworks has this plans and structures inbuilt means the functions and the methods and the class and the libraries which makes our programming our app development faster everything defined inside this framework so by using framework code igniter php framework we can develop php program faster which we will which you will know in the later videos once we start developing videos now enough of the framework now let us know what is code igniter code igniter is actually a framework which I, I had already discussed it is a powerful PHP framework with small footprint small footprint what do you mean by footprint 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 is nothing but the size of the files or libraries which you you are going to use along with this or which comes along with this code igniter framework which makes the app development faster since this size of the files that comes along with code, code igniter is less it will require less time for downloading at the receiver side because uh, the apps which you develop for the client will be requiring the resources from the server so there will be less bandwidth usage which is a great advantage and uh, it is built for developers who require simple and elegant toolkit and create full featured web application actually code igniter is for developers uh, developers in the sense who develop actually the real world application but there are developers who learn code igniter also exceptions are there so what is meant by full featured web application application which serves the users needs or the users purpose and works according to the users requirement it is known as a toolkit because we are going to use this code igniter framework and gonna design our programs and make it faster and develop our codes faster that's why it is known as elegant toolkit as it consists of lot of libraries application by default that's it with that and why to use code code igniter as a, everyone has this doubt like i already know php language programming scripting or server side scripting language then why should i need to know framework since the number of users using the internet is growing uh, to a great extent developing programming or web pages based on the traditional way cannot solve the problem to increase the production or the development uh, to reduce the development time and to increase the productivity we need to use framework because frameworks allows us to develop powerful web application faster for example for validating a form in php you need to write lot of codes but in code igniter 
you just need to include the required libraries and the and write two three lines of code and it will do the validation automatically for you you will see once uh, in the future videos in the same playlist so coming back again to the code igniter it has exceptional performance because code igniter is a open source project and it is completely free so the developers are lot of developers who contribute to the github project and if you are you are facing any issues it will be faced quickly so using code igniter provides exceptional performance because lot of highly qualified developers are working on the project and uh, people like you the customers who are facing or the developers who are facing any issues are reported quickly so the performance is improved day by day and it provides simple solutions because code igniter follows a approach it which is mvc uh, which makes the task simple we will discuss in the next question we'll leave for that it has strong security it has cross site scripting prevention and many csrf protection against many web attacks that involves web attacks it is already prevented by that framework so you don't have to write any security codes for that for protecting the common attacks web attacks which usually takes place so it has a strong security which everyone needs because the information web application you going to design is going to be used by lot of users who want to who want their information to be confidential so we need to have a strong security and the main advantage is zero configuration to use code igniter you don't have to configure anything you don't have to install any packages etc it is a zip file which you going to download and you can directly start using or start developing your programs in it so zero configuration no overheads associated with uh, setting up the environment and the documentation the documentation is very very clear you uh, once you visit codeigniter.com or codeigniter.org you can see the documentation which is excellently present presented so every user can clearly understand what he or she going to do with the outputs also so nf of the code igniter why to use code igniter everyone might have got clear idea and uh, it has loose coupling loose coupling means every component depends on other components the dependency is reduced so every component can operate independently this makes the code igniter framework Uh, very fast because uh, if that is close coupling or tight coupling you have to uh, a single component relies on another component for its tasks so this if that component is busy you have to wait for it certain time so this increases the time for the re responses to be sent or the request to be processed so loose coupling enables the user to user's request to be uh, processed quickly and the response time is good and uh, now discussing about the model view controller first let's discuss about model model is nothing but the back end back end in the sense consider you have a server and you have a database behind this and this is the client so the client accesses the server the server accesses the database and this database response is given to the server and the response from the server is given to the client based on the user's request so the model resides exactly over here between the server and the model be sorry between the server and the database what the mo model does is the model 
has model is nothing but the files which uh, files or the codes written in it which will fetch the results from the databases so whenever you want to fetch any records from database you have to write code in this model file and this model file will take the data from the database and will give it to the server the, then the server to the client and then comes controller what is controller controller is nothing but it is present between the model sorry it, will, it is present between the client server here it is controller so the controller acts as the middleman to solve the request for example if you are writing two database codes two different database codes in the model file so the controller will load this file when the server requests it for example the client asks me to retrieve uh, 10 user details from the database xyz which has a table name uh, xyz so the controller will load this model and will pass the data from this client to this model and this model we have already written the code for retrieving the data from the database will use that value and value in the sense the table table name and using that table name it will retrieve the records from the database and it will return back to the controller and this controller is given to the controller is nothing but can be considered as a server this controller will return the request back to the client so the controller acts as a middleman which loads the components if you require any libraries like for form validation if you want to require the code igniter library then you can include using uh, controller so basically the controller will actually contains the code for managing the models and all the libraries to import inside our code and we can use it we will disc we will get a clear idea when we once we start developing our first program so by that time just understand model is nothing but the place where we write codes for querying with the database and controller is nothing but the middleman which receives the request from the clients and uh, uh, loads the appropriate model and libraries required by the user for, to uh, provide the response uh, now what is v v stands for view view comes in between the controller and the client what is view view is nothing but the web page the user sees on the browser when you visit www.google.com or any xyz.com you visit their home page so the view is generated by this view in code igniter so consider the client wants to the same example receive the 10 users details from the tables xyz from the database xyz so the client sends this request to the controller controller not to the view controller and the controller the client will send using a form actually then this request is received inside this controller and we have written the code to load the module for retrieving the data from the database so we will include the model in which we have written codes for receiving the data from the database that data is received from the database and this is written to the controller which called this module and since the data is now available but it is in the format we need to display it to the user in an appropriate format in a web page actually the response so the view will generate a web page based on the data passed and it will generate a very nice page for the user to view so these are the basic components 
of um, basic fundamentals of a model view controller model is nothing but a, a document which contains codes regarding the database querying details and control is the intermediary which will load or acts as an intermediary between the views and the model and view is nothing but the document which is presented to the user based on the values generated from the controller that's it and uh, since you are now familiar with the mvc model view controller let's discuss the workflow what is the workflow workflow means the flow of working of code igniter framework this is the flow of work the user views this index.php in his browser then user submits request or submits a form consider the same example submits a form then it goes to routing page which is present in that uh, model view controller php framework code igniter then the security pre predefined security measures are taken like cross site scripting because it is the advantage of code igniter framework then once that is done this request is given to the controller which is the middleman based on the request received up, up, it loads appropriate models if we need to do form validation then libraries for form validation is loaded and if we need any helpers helpers are nothing but the modules which will simplify the task that also loaded and the scripts which are required then the process, once the model sends data if we are querying with the data everything is done the controller returns that to the view view is nothing but generation of web pages which will we will pre present it to the user if the request is for the first time and the page is generated for the first time then it is need to be cached what is the advantage of caching is for later if the user refreshes the page he doesn't need to download the entire document he just need to update the details so that is uh, view is cached for faster loading if it is first time and then it is presented to the user that's it the workflow of code igniter and the introduction video of code igniter we will see more uh, videos hands on experience with the code igniter framework and uh, very good practical measures which we should take while developing the programming in the later videos thank you guys thank you for watching please do watch the videos because the programming stuff is very go going to be a very very good thank you guys thank you